Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com. In this video, I'm gonna do a review for you on a product called ADA Leads. So ADA Leads, it finds leads and websites that are non-compliant with ADA guidelines. It allows you to contact these leads directly. It's even preloaded with done for you, ADA lead gen emails that you can send directly to the prospect. And it also gives you stunning and customizable reports that you can use as a PDF, or you can print them for your customers and prospects. Now there's more to it than that. You can find the details about the upsells and the pricing and what all you can get included with this directly under the video in the description box, along with the link that'll take you so where you can go to the sales page and pick this up. Now, if you do buy it through that link, you'll also get the bonuses that are mentioned under this video in the description. So let's dive into the dashboard and I'll show you what this tool is and how it works. So when you get in your dashboard, it's gonna show you all the prospects that you've currently found and out of those, how many clients you've got from them. You can also access all the help, training, and the frequently asked questions over here on the right-hand side. This video here, I highly recommend you watch it before you get started, just so you can know exactly how everything works in here. Okay, on our left-hand side, you can see under prospects, you have a few options. You have your prospect finder, which is the main part of this tool. Once you find prospects, you can add them as your prospects. When you do, they show up here and you can even categorize your prospects into different categories. Now, once you find these prospects and you email them or call them or however it is you wanna contact them, you can add them as clients. Under this are audits that you can create for your prospects and send to them. The widgets is a tool that you can use to give them a code they can add to their website that allows them or their users more functionality to the website, which makes it more compliant with the ADA guidelines and rules. And then we have the settings. This is where you're gonna start from. So when you first come in here, you wanna to go to settings and depending on the upsells that you get, you may or may not have access to all of these, but what you'll wanna do if you do have access to this is to add your own logo here, your website, your contact email, and your phone number. You can even put a footer here. You want to enter your API settings, which is simply your Google API. And then your email settings here, if you upgrade, you can get professional templates or you can create your own templates here that you can use to send out to your prospects. And then your SMTP settings are what's gonna allow you to send these emails. You wanna make sure that you fill these out. Here they are recommending that you use Mailgun. So what you wanna do is after you get these settings put in, you wanna come up to Prospect Finder. And from here, you're simply gonna enter a keyword and a niche and a location or a city. Now this is global. It uses Google to find these locations. So you can enter any location from anywhere in the world. So for example, if we wanna do say something like, uh, whoops, we the wrong box there. We'll do, just say lawyer. Let's do maybe like Cincinnati, Ohio. You can see right here, you can choose Cincinnati, Ohio. Or if you wanna do somewhere like London, you can see here, you can do London, Ontario, and Canada in the UK. So anywhere like that. So for this example, we're just gonna do uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, and click search prospects. Now this usually takes less than a minute. And what it's gonna do is show you a list of lawyers in this area. And it's only gonna show you the results of those that has websites, cause obviously that's what we wanna find are prospects who has websites. And then we wanna find out for sure if they are ADA compliant or not. And if they're not, it's going to allow us to send them an audit, which is very well made for the chance of getting this as a client to our business or even adding additional services to our existing clients. Okay, so here we have 11 results and it gives us their business name, their URL, the country, city, phone, and the actions, which right here we can click add. And this adds them to our prospects. Now we can also get more information by clicking this little eye icon. It shows us the details where we can even visit their website if we want to. Now, if you want more results than what's shown here, you can always come down and click load more to see if there are more. Right now, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and add a couple of these uh, to our prospects list. And all we have to do is choose a category Let's just say we uh, injury lawyers, we wanna save it. And we can do that with as many of these as we want to. And then when we're done, we're gonna come over here and go to our prospects. You can see where we just added this one. And we're gonna create a report. So now this plus button here adds them as a client. So let's say we send them this audit and they contact us back and say, yeah, you know, we wanna do business with you. We can click this here and add them and it puts them in our client list. So we know we now have them as a client. But right now what we're gonna do is, is click on this button to generate an audit. And we can select an email template here if we have one set up. Otherwise, you can just choose the options here, what you wanna create. 
For this one, we're just going to do an ADA accessibility, but I believe in one of the upsells, you also have the option to add the performance and the SEO. Uh, so it checks for that as well, but we're just going to do this and click on generate. Now, if you do have their email and everything set up in here, you can actually click generate and send. So not only does it generate the um, audit, but it also sends it to their email address. But for now, we're just gonna click on generate. Now down here, you can see where it says audit requested. In about a minute here, it's gonna pop up this little bell, will show a notification or over here under uh, audits, it'll have a little red dot showing us that the report has been created. What we're gonna do is go ahead and go to the audits. And you can see here where there's been quite a few of them already created. Let's just jump down to this one here, Injury Law Group. And what we can do is come over here and we can view this one. So if we view the report, they're very well created. You can see this is 22 pages long. And up here, it's gonna have our logo, our business information, the date right here, ADA report, uh, their website, and some nice graphics. And if we scroll on down, it's gonna go over a little bit about ADA and the importance of it and why they need to make sure their website is set up properly for this. And so even the next page here shows uh, some more graphics and even some links to some authoritative channels such as NBC, Fox, and CNN, uh, just so they understand the importance of this. And if we scroll on down, we can actually get to the part here where it talks about some of the main issues which makes the website inaccessible. And then if we scroll on down, we get into the part where it actually examines their website and tells them what needs is fixed. So here in guideline one, we can see the this section is perceivable. And so if we scroll down, we can see that there's actually a lot of issues on their website that makes it non-ADA compliant. And so these are things that are really simple, such as alternate text. Anyone who's built a website before probably knows what that is. And we can scroll on down. We can see they have a lot of these problems. You can see there's more of them here. And then it goes into the next section, which is guideline two operable. And we can see they have an issue with this here. Then we move on down to the next one, understandable. And we can see there's one here. And there's another one here. And then we got guideline four, which is robust, and they have some problems here. And so this is just an outline that shows all the issues they have with their website that's making it non-ADA compliant. And then of course you can further contact them and explain to them about your services and how you can fix this for them. So if we go back over here, let's say this, uh, we're able to contact this company, they wanna do business with us. Uh, what we can do then is we can actually add them as a client. So we can go to our prospects, and we can just say this company here, yes, um, we wanna do business together, so we add them. And now we can go to our clients list and we can see everyone who is now a client. Now the widgets, this is really neat too. Uh, what the widget does is allows you to create additional um, widget for their website. And basically it creates a code, you just send them that code or their developer and they can add it to their website. And what this does, let me just go ahead and go into one site that I added here. What it does is it allows you to uh, set up a, uh, the widget width. And let me go ahead and open up my website and show you what this looks like. This is on a uh, just a generic website that I built just to show you as an example. And you can see down here in the bottom right, uh, this woman holding a question mark. And that's actually what my logo is that I uploaded here. And the widget is on the right hand side floating. Uh, the logo positions at the bottom. And you can choose all these details about what you want included in this widget. And then once you're done, you save it. You click here to get this code and you can send this to them or you can add it to their website if they allow you to. And then what this does, if they come down here and click on this, it opens up all these options now that they have that makes their website a lot more ADA compliant. So let me just go ahead and show you. I'm going to bring over uh, logged in incognito mode so it's easier to see it. Click on it. Now first one is audio. So what this does is it reads out the text. It goes one by one. You can see it moving across the menu. And then down here is different kinds of text. So if I click it, you can see how the text changes. And then under this one, it can make the text a lot larger or smaller. So if we click it, you can see how the text gets a lot bigger. And then under this, we have contrast. And then here we have, you can see how small this arrow is that I'm moving around. So if we click on this arrow, it actually makes it a lot bigger. So it makes it easier to see. We have a little red line, which kind of helps them to see better, to see where they're at. 
And then you have this option here, it says keyboard focus, press K. So for some of them who has a hard time um, seeing, they may be able to use this option. And lastly, there's this one down here. Let me get off this line. Uh, this bottom one here is kind of like a highlighter to help them to see where they're at. So all these tools help um, a lot with the ADA compliance laws and the regulations for business websites, uh, which makes it really great, really easy, because it only takes up seconds to create this widget. And all you have to do is once you come in here, the widgets, you just set it up, the background color, the logo, choose which options you want on here, save it, and then you can click to copy the code and add it to the site, and that's it. And really that's all there is to it. So ADA Leads is all about finding the leads. It's about finding the websites, the businesses that has websites that are non-ADA compliant, about creating professional audits, sending off to them, uh, to possibly getting them as a client. And then from there you can uh, offer them the services that you use or even the widgets option here to help them to make their websites more ADA compliant. But this is what it's all about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review of ADA Leads. If you have any questions, just leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll let you know when I put out new videos. Thanks.